G'day everyone, welcome to this week's mid fortnight instalment update something of my floss tube channel cross stitch progress. Yes, I'm Rachel Rara uh, and I am a Kiwi cross stitcher. I'd like to welcome um, new subscribers to my channel. There's been a few. Thank you for uh, coming along. You've obviously heard there's something bongers going on in New Zealand. Um, so welcome along and hi to everyone else. Nice to see you back. Um, so this instalment is between the videos where I choose my projects for a fortnight. So this is a how the first week has gone and what I'll be stitching next week. So yeah. We'll get there in about December. Um, so I've got some progress uh, and stuff to show you and some haul arrived. Um, as predicted, um, I think I said last week, it took an awful long time for my um, purchase from Kitten Stitcher to get from Mississippi to Florida. Once it got out of Florida, it moved fast. So um, who knows what was going on there, but it doesn't matter, it's here. Um, so, yeah, I shall crack on. I, I'm going to try not to go off on a tangent and a waffle. I'm actually, I didn't watch the first game. What did, I don't know which one it was, the Rams and the Saints. I've just caught the end of it. But the next game is starting in the um, NFL. I call them the semi semi-finals. They're the NFC and AFC Championship games, something like that. Um but they're the semi-finals, the teams who are going to play in the Super Bowl. So I am getting this done a little bit early so that I can get my lunch and get organised and sit down and stitch and watch the football this afternoon. So, four things and some haul. So the first uh, project that was drawn out of the bag last week was to do an ornament from um, the Just Cross Stitch Ornament Editions issues, whatever. Um, and I had hinted that I would do a blue ribbons design, I believe. Um, but upon sussing out the requirements, I realised that probably one, I used DMC for some of the one that I showed you. Um, I know I did use some over dyed threads, but I made the decision because I like those designs that I'm actually going to order probably a double lot of skeins because there are quite a few of the blue ribbon designs and the ornament issues that I want to do. So I decided I wouldn't do that. So I picked out last year's ornament issue um, magazine and had a look to see what I've got just as a by the by. That's what, another blue ribbon design from last year's issue. There's actually two in this issue, I didn't realise. Um, yeah, that's the other one. I like that one, I think better than the first one. But they seem to have the same rough set of um, Weeks dye work. So as I said, I'm going to actually order a bunch of Weeks. Um, and then I've got... Um, what I need now to find what I did do so it is in here somewhere I found something that was only DMC and was only about 6 DMC and between all my projects and stash um, I was able to find all the right DMC so this is Winterbird's Home by the Little Stitcher and that's what it's meant to look like Sorry, you glare. <sighs> I need to show everything. <laughs> if you could see my mess. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to need something behind it, aren't I? And that's my version, which should be the same other than I didn't do it on the pokey dotty fam fabric. I think this is... Um, I don't actually want to say this is raw linen, but it might actually be. I don't recognise it. It's something out of my drawer that I did la the last year's blue ribbon design on. So this took me three afternoons. I tend to only stitch in the afternoon. Um, 
it's an easy day stitch if you've got the time to sit and do do it over the course of a day. I didn't have the time. I don't have the time with looking after my mother to do that. So I tend to get all my jobs and her appointments done in the morning, stitch in the afternoon, um, and then the evening is for dealing with her and other things. So, because I don't have good lighting at night. Anyway, I said I wasn't waffling. Right. So the second project um, drawn out of the hat last week was to spend some more time with Sophia. Um, which is just lovely. And I have added uh, this bottom leaf, I think this leaf, more blue, more blue. I can't remember if those two bits were done last week or not. So... You can see that the circles are not going to be very big, but there's lots of fiddly filigree vines and leaves and things. So while it's a low stitch count, um, 82 by 84, given that I only give it two days a week when it's drawn out of the hat, it is going to take a bit of time to finish, but it's beautiful. And it's beautiful on that fabric, and I'm a little bit in love. And then, drum roll please, the next ball drawn out of the hat last week was to fully finish some of these. I've got a little pile of things like this, little ornaments that are just waiting. So I had put in my uh, Lucky Dip hat, hat that I needed to do some finishing. So I did. I finished the one I showed you last week. This is... The first time, no, I say that again. This is the third time I've ever made a little pillow. Um, but this is the first time I've ever followed a tutorial. In the past, I've just made it up. And goodness knows whether they survive. Now, I gave one to my niece, and one was in a swap um, in 2012 or 2013 um, back in England. But I, I followed Vonna. And Vonna, if you ever watch my videos, please look like this. Um, I did not follow her religiously. So I haven't got the little line across the back which would make it easy because it, it seemed so narrow. And I was like, I can't be bothered cutting this bin and then ring and then this bin and then ring. And so it has got a stitch bottom, so it has got a puckered bottom. But um, it is done and it will hang. It possibly needs a little bit more of a stitch up the top just to stop it from falling forward. It's got a red, and it's got green, and it's got brown, which are all the colours on there. And I have the cotton finish, and I'm more than happy with it. So that brings me to the project that I'm working on yesterday and today, which is the village of Hawk Run Hollow, and we are in block two. So uh, last week I had got the whole name across the bottom done, and the just the straight lines in the middle of the fence. So yesterday I worked on the ups and downs at the top of the um, fence line and started filling in more um, dark green here. So today I think I will probably just keep on. I've pretty much only used this dark green, co green colour and I probably will just do that again today. Just keep going along here as long as I can and then start at this end because there's a corresponding tree um, so I'm pleased that this it, it's looking to me like it's moving along it might not be very, very far to someone watching but having taken an awful lot of time to get this far last year um, I'm really pleased that that um, I can see some good progress in the it's had three days this year so far and I've, I've made some really good progress on this so Okay, so those are my four projects so far. So today, um, this afternoon, I will have another day on Hawk Run Hollow. Then tomorrow is the new start. Um, and this is my new start, Quaker Street by Marjorie Macy. Um, I have checked the fabric if you were here last week. I've um, measured and I've used the 123 stitch guide to confirm my calculations uh, and then <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at this because my fabric is in centimeters that's part of the problem 
and bless a little heart there is centimeters and I'm doing 32 count so it should be fine but to be on the safe side I will probably do the very top border all the way across um, yeah I think that will be my first goal to just to be triply sure so look the little bag of blue presidential blue is in there waiting so that's tomorrow's order of business then I'll have joy ornamental joy country cottage neat country cottage needleworks will get two days and orchard valley quilting bee will get two days which will bring us back to Monday and we will draw some more projects again okay uh, as I said I got my haul and I haven't taken it out of the plastic um, this is one of the new Brenda Gervais um, plum pudding and I think I'm going to work on getting this kitted up uh, it's 69 by 77 so I think that will fall within the realm of trying to get this done um, as part of the madness this year so I'm going to get work on having this kitted up my intention is to place a one two three stitch order in the next week or so um, I need some threads for I need one thread for garden club series for the next part I know um, yep this two threads I think ornamental joy I've taken the two overdides out of Santa's village to put an ornamental joy but I think I'll get those because they will then they'll be needed for Santa's village I'm sure by the end um, the threads for the blue ribbon designs and as I say I will start working on this what's the fabric winter brew so it's a 36 count I'll probably I don't know if I'll do it on 36 that might be a bit much for my little magnified eyes okay the next chart I've got is a new uh, Plum Street sampler and it's Miss Bingley's library which I like I like houses I like books anything that's missing is a cat there probably is I can't see it there's a bird and I like that it's got you're not really going to be able to see or can you it's got a, the Union Jack on the roof then I got because I've seen several people do this in the last quarter or so of the year last year and I really like it and I've been I've put it in carts and I've taken it out of carts and I just thought I'm getting it so this is uh, again Brenda Gervais Autumn's Fruitful Labour I'm not a hundred percent certain if I want the verse though so I might I do like this line so I might do some jiggery pokery a la Lynette from homesteading on the home front or I will just follow it faithfully I'm not very good at making decisions like that and the last um, one I have got is a reproduction sampler by Brenda Gervais and this is Harriet Elizabeth Coe which is just lovely um, do we have a stitch count on this that I can see quickly um, no probably here it's in the dark 163 by 180 so I doubt this will be started this year I've kind of said to myself if I can get Lucy halfway this year or at, at the halfway point I might start a second sampler but really I need to get Lucy done and being as I'm still on pages two and three so anyway that's my lot um, you know what I'm doing next week and uh, yeah <laughs> that's all I have to share um, I will be back for some more hat pulling choosing projects next week um, have a good week stitch everything you want to stitch and I will see you next week thanks everyone bye